Love is a curious thing. And the way you show love to one person may not be the same as how you show love to someone else. I'm Bill Snodgrass. Welcome to this episode of my vlog. In this episode, we're going to talk about showing love. So that should be kind of interesting. But there's a couple things we need to do before that. And um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get going. Are you a teenager? Do your parents complain about how much time you spend watching YouTube videos? I've got a solution for you. I'm Bill Snodgrass. I do videos, I do science videos, I do vlogs, I do some photography videos, and then I do some other kind of, other kind of... Yeah, my day. other kind of videos. What you can do is subscribe to my channel. Then, when your parents complain, you can just tell them you're learning about physics and chemistry. Solved. I'm Bill Snodgrass. Subscribe to my channel and make your parents proud. So it's about time to buy, to buy gas. So you know what that means. Yep. Highest prices in days. So I want to take a second and do a couple of shout outs. Um, First of all, there was a, a guy in one of the other teachers' ICP class who uh, informed me today that, that he had subscribed to the channel, and I want to thank him for doing that. And then the other is uh, uh, a young lady after Photography Club, and so this is a story. She made, me tell, she made me promise to tell the story so that everybody, I don't know. Anyway, so um, apparently her grandmother, she wanted everyone to know, was a stripper. And her grandmother named a daughter for herself from her, her stripper name. So the stripper name is not the grandmother's name, but the stripper name was the, the daughter's name, which makes it the student's aunt. And the student is named for the deceased daughter of the grandmother who was a stripper. Kind of an interesting story. And um, she wanted everyone to know. So now you do. And, and that's that. So. Uh, Lastly, uh, all those Facebook folks who have been uh, subscribing and let me know that you subscribed, I want to thank you guys again. I uh, really, really appreciate the fact that you guys are, are uh, subscribing to the channel, and I hope you enjoy the content and uh, just keep spreading it around, and maybe we can keep, keep the channel growing. So, so that's the shout-out portion for this vlog. The way people experience love... Uh, is, is different. Not everyone experiences love the same way. And not everyone depicts love the same way. If you just if you just look at the the way pop culture depicts love, you get a lot of different ideas. There's as many different ways that pop culture depicts love um, as there are movie producers and, and studios. Um, and some of them you know, work for some people and some of them work for other people. Um, but it's conceivable that pop culture's idea of what love is may not be perfectly accurate for everyone. So this concept about um, showing people love in different ways um, is, is not, uh, it's not original with me, obviously. And um, I'll put down in the comments uh, a reference to a to a book and, and in this book uh, the the author talks about the languages of love the five love languages and I'm not going to try to recap the whole book but just the main concept that each person um, each person experiences love uh, in, in a different way not not in, in a different way, but in one of five ways. And the way that you feel loved and the way that you express love um, is 
not always not always the same uh, that, that you may feel loved by spending time with somebody or by uh, acts of service or um, acts of affection and, and things like that. that. That may be how you perceive that you are loved, but is that is expressing your love the same way the best for the, the person that you're trying to show the love to? And in a lot of cases, it's not. Um, you need to begin to understand how to show love to the people around you and, and their way of, of feeling love and your way of showing love needs to line up. And if, you, um, if you're showing love the way that you like to be loved and the other person isn't uh, responding to that, then maybe you need to try something else. So the book is really good. Uh, you can read it and you can read it and you know, people can read it together and see how they compare and see how they can put it all together. Um, but it's, it's a really, really good thing. And uh, the reason I bring this up is, is in response to uh, a conversation I had um, with, with a student today who, um, the, the, the gist was that this student didn't feel loved by the people that was around the student. And, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, the, the point is that um, someone may be showing love in a way that that student isn't expecting it. And that may be the, the reason the perception, you know, is, is off. It could be that one of the, is, is giving gifts. If, if I'm giving gifts to someone as a way of expressing love, and that doesn't make them feel loved, then it's not working. So, so that's just one example. The book is really good. I'll put the link down in the, and there's my microphone shadow. That's, that's my microphone. I'll put the link down in the, in the comments. Uh, it'll be an affiliate link, so you can just click on it and go right to Amazon and, and, and acquire the book. So, um, so that's it. That's, that's the, the meaty, thoughtful part of this vlog. And, and just because it makes you feel loved, uh, it may not make them feel loved. So, so that's, that's the, the thoughtful, hopefully serious part of this vlog. And um, with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this out. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share it with a friend, um, and we'll see you in the next episode. Look at the people around you. Try to figure out what makes them feel loved and then show them love in that way.